next chapter is data and signals one of the major functions of the physical layer is to move data in the form of electromagnetic signals across a transmission medium whether you are collecting numerical statics from another computer sending animated pictures from a design workstation or causing a bell to ring at a distant control center you are working with the transmission of data across network connections generally the data usable to a person or application are not in the form that can be transmitted over a network for example a photograph must first be changed to a form that transmission media can accept transmission media work by conducting energy along a physical path to, to be transmitted data must be transformed to electromagnetic signals analog and digital both data and the signal that represent them can be either analog or digital in form analog and digital data data can be analog or digital the term analog data refers to the information that is continuous digital data refers to the information that has discrete states for example an analog clock that has hours minutes and seconds hence gives information in a continuous form the movements of the heads are continuous on the other hand a digital clock that reports the hour and the minute will change suddenly from 85 to 86 analog data such as sounds made by the human voice take a continuous values when someone speaks an analog wave is created in the air this can be captured by a microphone and converted to an analog signal are sampled and converted to a digital signal digital data take on discrete values for example the data are stored in the computer memory in the form of zeros and ones they can be converted to a digital signal or modulated into a analog signal for transmission across a medium data can be analog or digital analog data are continuous and take continuous values digital data have discrete states and take discrete values analog and digital signals like the data they represent signals can be either analog or digital an analog signal has infinitely many levels of intensity over a period of time as the wave moves from value a to value b it passes through the includes an infinite number of values along its path a digital signal on the other hand can have only a limited number of defined values although each value can be any number it is often as simple as 1 and 0 The simplest way to show signals is by plotting them on a pair of perpendicular axes. The vertical axis represent the value or strength of a signal. The horizontal axis represent time. This figure illustrates an analog signal and a digital signal. The curve representing the analog signal passes through an infinite number of points. The vertical lines of the digital signal however demonstrate the sudden jump that the signal makes from value to value signals can be analog or digital a analog signal can have an infinite number of values in a range digital signal can have only a limited number of values comparison of analog and digital signals analog signal and digital signal periodic and non periodic signals Both analog and digital signals can take one of two forms periodic or non periodic sometimes referred to as aperiodic because the prefix a is greek means non a periodic signal completes a pattern within a measurable time frame called a period and repeats that pattern over subsequent identical periods the completion of one full pattern is called a cycle a non periodic signal changes without exhibiting a pattern or cycle that repeats over time both analog and digital signals can be periodic or non periodic in data communication we commonly uses periodic analog signals because they need less bandwidth as we will see in chapter 5 and non periodic digital signal because they can represent variation in data In data communication we commonly uses periodic analog signal and non periodic digital signals
Thanks for watching this video. If you found this video helpful and want more videos like this, then please let me know by click on like button and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.